Before running the simulation, it's important to check the material fits in the Material Explorer and the memory report from the Check button in the Simulation toolbar. The Material Explorer plots the material fit for the materials used in the simulation, so you can make sure that the fitted curve closely matches the material data. The fitting parameters, such as the number of coefficients used in the fit, can be adjusted to improve the fit if necessary. The multi-coefficient fitting algorithm in FDTD Solutions generates a good fit for a range of real materials like silicon and gallium arsenide shown here. Tips for choosing material fit settings can be found in the link below. The memory report lists the estimated memory requirements for the simulation, and you can use it to check that you have a sufficient amount of RAM and hard disk space available. The first section of the report lists the estimated amount of RAM required for the initialization and mesh, running the simulation, and data collection stages of the simulation. Since these stages happen sequentially, the RAM requirement will be the maximum out of these three numbers. The monitor data saved to FSP file value reports the estimated file size that is saved to hard disk after the simulation has been run. The memory details section of the report shows the fraction of the estimated memory requirements used by the different objects in the simulation. If memory requirements are too high, some tips for reducing the memory requirements are to use a coarser simulation mesh, use symmetry in the boundary conditions to reduce the simulated volume if the source and structure have symmetry, reducing monitor size and the number of frequency points recorded by the monitors, and only recording the necessary field data. More tips on reducing memory requirements of monitors can be found in the monitors section of this course.